right, Walker Nation. It's Dave Solo back with you at Walker Soccer Con Atlanta. And we got two for the price of one in this interview. Super pumped about this. It's the Shea West. It's Moses Mosley. You know him better as Michonne's Pets. Gentlemen, how are you? Doing awesome. Awesome? Doing great. Great. It's, uh, I, I feel so honored to be here with you guys. Uh, what was it like uh, in, the, in the role of, uh, of the pets? It was cool. I mean, it was, it was very interesting playing uh, a zombie, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and such an important one at that. But it was really cool. Really? Yeah. What do you think? It was a lot of fun. You know, it was, it was a strenuous process, but it was, it's been the most rewarding experience I can think of. So it's been awesome. It was an honor. Yeah. Have you guys had a chance to go to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal? And see no. the oh, you should go and see the pets in the house. Oh, they body. look so amazing! Yeah, Definitely check it out. The, the flashback scene. So Mike and Terry, right? The flashback scene. Um, uh, what impact do you think that had um, on the audience and for your characters? I think it let them understand what the characters were because the pets were such a mystery for so long. So now they have an idea of what it is. You know, right. what the storyline is. Sure. It just pretty much, I think it just, it personifies the whole Michonne, you know, her, her backstory, you know, and it adds more clarification as to who we were, and it adds more significance to us as well, because it shows that we actually had an attachment to her, like we were relevant to her in some way, because a lot of people, they had no idea who we were, and they didn't know if they were going to go off the comic books with it either, so for them to actually stay true to the comic books in that aspect, it was, it was really awesome. Yeah. Right, cool. Now for a fun question, right? Zombie apocalypse hits, and you can make two pets of your own out of anybody in the world, who are you picking? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Brother and sister, definitely. Yeah. Uh, brother and sister. I thought you were going to say Brian Cranston uh, and, and uh, Jesse Pinkman there. I love my shirt. Though. I yeah. couldn't do that to them, though. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, probably, I, have, I honestly don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. It, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd probably go for Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Got zombies right behind you. <laughs> Give you something to look at in the apocalypse, at least, right? Right. right? So, great. <laughs> the last question, right? Zombie apocalypse hits tomorrow. What's the first thing that you're going to do? Um, I'm definitely going to go, like, hold up a Walmart and kick everybody out and then chain it up. That's what I'm going to do. All right. You took the words right out of my mouth. Walmart was the first thing. That's the one stop shop. I'm getting my guns, I'm getting my food, and I'm holding up in there until the end of it, yeah. <laughs> Either Walmart or a liquor store. <laughs> right. Well, some Walmarts in the South have liquor, right? Exactly. So you guys get to Walmart. I'll bring Brittany and Christina, <laughs> and we'll call it a play. Thanks for your time, guys. No, thank you. Thanks, man. A pleasure. Thank you.